Yeah, so it's true. We we met on the train. I think I was on my way back from Abuja. I had missed the first train that day, which was um, scheduled for 6 a.m. And I decided to wait and take the second train, which was at 10. And when I got into the train, I had um, somebody had already sat on my seat and I had to take another one. I think it was um, a beautiful coincidence. So I think I walked in and I sat down. I took a window seat and I saw her walk in. It was her, my beautiful sister-in-law, Zainab, and uh, my brother-in-law, Alhiu, and I think they were on their way to Kaduna as well. That was when I first saw her. I, I looked up, I saw a lady wearing black, and she was the most peaceful thing I've ever seen. I had the black abaya, her gaze were down, and at that very moment, I wanted to reach out to her, I wanted to talk to her. But then, I was too shy, there were a lot of people there. There were more than a hundred people on that train and I just didn't know how to reach out. At first I thought of maybe sitting next to her, but there was a lady there. So I thought of, um, I thought of something. What, how could I reach out to her without creating a scene or getting people's attention? But I thought of it. How about I airdrop her? So I on my airdrop. I typed a message on my nose and I went to my airdrop and there were a lot of people there. So many suggestions. A lot of people's airdrops were on at that moment. But then I scrolled through and I think it was my instincts. At the first try, I saw Mariam and I clicked on it. And she rejected. I tried to send the note again. She rejected the second time. But then I was persistent. And on the third try, I think curiosity got to her. She opened the message. I was the third one. Regardless, I persisted. And then she opened and I got her to laugh on the first message. Yeah, I did. And then after a couple of messages, I asked her the most dramatic question at that moment. I said, what was her genotype? What is your genotype? I asked you a lot of things. But then the most important one for me was what was your genotype? And she answered, she said it was in her own word, I quote, she said, sadly, yes. And I replied, I said, worry no more, I'm AA. And I think we're about to get married. It's the best thing I've ever seen. I love Auntie a lot. Auntie has always been there for me. With or without you. Mm. We have always been friends, like I normally tell you. I'm friends with your mom. <laughs> yeah. So. Are you I'm excited about meeting her? Super. Yeah. I'm what always you, looking what would for. be the first thing you would set, say to my mom when you meet her? I'll just give her a also. hug for everything. I don't even have the right words for Auntie. I'll just give her a hug and tell her thank you. For what? A lot. <laughs> Our gally, gally conversations need it. <laughs> I'm sure she loves you. 
advices, man. Oh, yeah. We had a conversation, Jia. You're no longer part of the family. She adopted you? Yes. You're no longer part of the family. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm now the second bun. So, I'm older than Dudu. I'm a e class. I wish I had the best words to describe the moment and what it means getting married to someone like you. No, I take you back. What it means to marry you? Because there's no any other person like you. This is you. It has been quite um, challenging, full of trials and tribulations. You see, I've had people a couple of, I've had people a lot of times talk about their love stories and they paint a picture of, um, you know, a movie scene, a forever after, a happily ever after moment. But for me, loving you has been an inspiration, an inspiration to be patient, through life, to be kind, to work harder. With the little things, you have no idea how much I love to buy gurasa for you and watch you get all so excited. Yeah, it, of course, it requires a lot of, like, I buy gurasa for you, like, always. But on a more serious note, you inspire me.